So today we're going to draw a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. Let's get started. Okay, so first step to drawing our pot of gold is to get a pencil and an eraser. We're going to draw lightly in pencil first because then we can erase any mistakes and correct it. So we're going to draw our pot of gold. First thing we're going to draw is the lip of the pot. And I'm going to put it off to one side so that I can have the rainbow coming out of it. Because you know the pot of gold is at the end of the rainbow. So I'm going to put my pot of gold down here. It'll be about as big as my hand in that lower right hand corner of my paper. I'm going to first draw the rim with a slightly curved line. And then stop. Then I'm going to draw another line below it. Leave a little space. There we go. And on the two ends, I'm going to put a little C, a curve right there. There's one C. And then on this side, I'm going to make a backward C and another backward C. All right, so we have two lines and those C's on there. The next step is to put some gold in the pot. I'm going to have lots of gold in my pot. So I'm going to use curved lines that fill that pot with lots of gold. There's all my gold inside the pot. Now let's draw the bottom of the part, pot. That's going to be like a circle. So I'm going to start below the rim on one side and slowly I'm going to draw a circle all the way around and bring it up slowly to the other side of the rim. A nice big fat pot of gold. I'm going to put some feet on the bottom to hold it up. These will also be curved lines. So I'm going to come out with a curved line and go back to the pot. Look at how slowly I'm drawing so that I can make sure I do a good job. These big black pots usually have three feet. So I'm going to make one, two, three curved lines. Now they also have handles on them, so you can pick them up. I'm going to use a curved line again. Another big C coming out of that side, and a big C coming out of that side. Then I'm going to repeat it inside, just like I did here, to leave a space. Another one, and another one. There's my big fat pot of gold. Now let's draw the rainbow. Start from one side of the gold and draw a curved line all the way up to the very top of the paper. Start at the other side of the gold and draw a curved line all the way up to the edge of the paper. Then we're going to put one right smack in the middle. Go slowly so you're sure to get it in the middle. I'm going to look at both of these lines the whole time and make sure that this one is in the middle. There we go. Then in this space, I'm going to put two more lines. And in this space, I'm going to put two more lines to finish my rainbow. Watch how slow I go. One curved line. Two curved lines. 
one curved line, two curved lines. There we go. Now, it looks like our pot is floating in space. So I'm gonna give it a little ground line that comes over to the pot and stops, moves behind it, behind it, behind it, and pokes out the other side. Now it's sitting in the grass and the rainbow is in the sky. That makes sense. So let's get that drawing complete. All right, next step is to trace your pot of gold just trace those lines with your Sharpie marker. Go nice and slow. Anything that you erased and did not want to include, don't trace. So I'm gonna just trace everything here with my Sharpie marker. I'll give you some time to do that. Now that everything is traced, I'll put the top back on my marker and then use my eraser to go back and erase any pencil lines that may be showing. You can see that there's still some lines right here that I did not get exactly right. So I'm gonna erase those. When we erase, we hold the paper down with our hand and then take little tiny strokes with our eraser back and forth. Not big ones, that will tear up our paper. We don't wanna do that. So we just do little tiny. And as you move your eraser to different parts of the paper, move your hand also to different parts of the paper. And then just erase all your pencil lines. And everything will look nice and clean. All right, all my pencil lines have been erased. So now it's time to color. And there's some pretty specific colors. We want the gold to be shiny and yellow. So we're going to color all these gold coins yellow. I'm going to outline first around my shape. And then I'm going to color it all in the middle. There we go, nice and yellow bright gold coins. The pot is usually made from iron and that'll turn black. So I'm going to take my black crayon and I'm going to carefully color in this whole pot that holds the gold and it's the pot at the end of the rainbow. I'm even going to carefully color these handles that go with the pot, and I will also color the feet down at the bottom. So let me give you some time to do that. So we finished the pot with the gold in it, and now it's time to color our rainbow. Interestingly enough, rainbows always follow the same pattern. So if we look at Patrick's rainbows, he has followed that pattern the same way on every single rainbow. So let's think about what colors we use on our rainbows. It has to do with the way light moves through the air. It's very interesting. So the very top color on every rainbow is red. So we're gonna start with red on the top of our rainbow and we'll take out our red crayon. And then very neatly, we're going to outline just that first stripe and color it all red. So there you go. Red is on the top of the rainbow. To move on with the rest of the colors, we need to understand how the colors move in a certain way. And we can remember those by talking about Roy G. Biv. That helps us remember. R stands for red, red. 
And then next we have orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And we tend to put indigo and violet together into one color that we call purple. So let's see if we can use this chart to help us color our rainbow. What comes after red? It looks like orange. So we're going to find our orange crayon and we are going to color the very next color in the rainbow, just right into that little stripe. Then the next color will be yellow and green and blue and purple. So maybe we can leave this up for you so that you can use it as a guideline as you color the rest of your rainbow. Try to get them nice and neat in the stripes and pay attention to the order of your rainbow. So here's my pot of gold with my rainbow and a little bit of grass right here. So I'm going to take some time just to color the grass green and then I'll be finished. 